Lord, I thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for allowing me to understand your will another day, Lord God, and be able to implement. Amen. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Because on it, he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. Dang, that's what's up, man. It's food. It's food. It's food. Four thought. 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 So I am recording this before I go on my one week break that the Lord commanded me to go on. You know, um, I don't know what he has in store for me, but obviously I need rest. Because like I told you guys, um, I really was tired, um, you know, from a lot that's been going on this past quarter. But I wanted to give it to you guys after the rest, you know, to see where I was at. But um, I guess the Holy Spirit got other plans. So let's do it. I don't know if you're a workaholic like myself. Um, I, I try not to call myself a workaholic because I'm trying to get away from that mindset. I do work a lot. I just think that's something that God programmed into my DNA. Like, I enjoy working. And sometimes it can get so bad. Like, I like working even when I'm tired or when I should be asleep. I keep pushing, like, chugga, 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 chugga. I think I can. We gonna make it to the promised land. Chugga, chugga. Let me stop playing. But anyways, um, when I, I keep working like that, he showed me that I work out of my own might. And when I work like that, I'm getting less done than if I just prayed and asked him to do it out of his strength. Because as I spoke about in the other two videos of this series of the call, um, you have to operate in God's strength in order for you to get his will done and still have some gas left in yourself. Now, you naturally, you're going to be tired because when we work, we get tired. That's just part of life. But it's times when you just like, I'm legit working on a project that he'll have me do. And I'm falling asleep like, you know, constantly head bobbing. And then I'm in prayer like, like, Lord, how am I supposed to get, you know, further instruction from you if I can't stay awake? And he was like, pray for my strength. So as I told you all in the last video, when I pray for God's strength, because I don't want to do it in my own. Nothing's going to get done. When I pray for his strength, for his big purpose of on my, over my life, then I get like this burst of energy as I'm doing the task. And when the task is complete, I am exhausted even more than before I began to work. So I just love the way that God has us, you know, codependent on him so that we can do what he called us to do. And by the way, if you have not seen part one and part two of this series, I strongly advise that you do so before watching this because this is what happens after you, you know, find out the call for your life and after you start working in the purpose that God has for you. Because, you know, why learn about rest if you haven't learned about work? Rest comes after work. And we see so in the Bible, you know, in Genesis 1, God did work. On Genesis 2, he rested. So we shouldn't be doing anything that, that you know, is laborious. Um, of course, you're going to have to, like, do simple tasks, like take care of your hygiene and, and, and you know, clean your house and stuff like that. I mean, just let the Holy Spirit convict you. Like, relax, you know, sleep in, have fun, still pray and seek him. You know, even though we're resting, we're never going to rest from God. That That's going to be for the rest of your life. That's like breathing. So you might as well um, get used to that. If anything, it's going to be uh, even more vital to you than breathing. Because without God, the one who provides the air in your lungs, you won't be breathing. You feel me, fam? But anyways, um, this lesson right here is not too deep. You know, um, I know you all were respect, expecting more than that. But I just wanted to give you biblical scripture on Resting from the work that God has for us, you know, so just be intentional and pray and seek God, you know, continuously about the, the call that he has over your life. Um, Sometimes he'll even take prayer and fasting for him to reveal such things about that because he 
you know, he likes to see our faithfulness and how much we seek him and trust him in revealing such thing. And it's going to be your perseverance, your, your, um, you continue to do such and continue to keep your faith that, you know, really touches the heart of God. I'm not going to say that because you're doing these things, he's going to respond, but your diligence and your trust and your faith is going to really show, you know, God that, that you're all in and he loves to see that, you know, he wants to know that he can trust us with the purpose that he has for our lives and we're not just going to go and blow it. Man, that fool look good in the mud, man. Ain't that fool look good in the mud. Lord, Lord God, I thank you for this food, this fried chicken, this mac and cheese, these greens that you putting in my belly, Lord God. I just can't wait to devour your holy word. Now that's food for thought.